What's happening, Hardwood Heroes fans? I'm your host, Sean Knighting. The girls' Division IV state championship is coming to Southeast Ohio. The Waterford Lady Wildcats ended their amazing season with the trophy. They took down the St. Wendelin Lady Mohawks 29-27. The lowest scoring title game in history came down to just one possession, and the Lady Wildcats are the ones taking it home. The game truly was a defensive struggle that went back and forth for the first 31 minutes and 46 seconds of the game. Tied at 27, Megan Ball dribbled down the court and sliced through the middle of the lane to the basket to hit the game-winning layup with just 13 seconds left. St. Wendelin had a chance to send it to overtime at the buzzer. Their attempt was offline, and a defensive rebound by Kern sealed the win. Waterford struggled from the field all game, but when it counted, the Lady Wildcats were able to step up. After nine lead changes and nine ties, Waterford outscored St. Wendelin 17 to 15 in the second half after going into the break tied at 12. Ball led the Lady Wildcats with 10 points and senior Danny Dreyer only had four. The defense for the Lady Wildcats kept them in the game despite shooting only 19% from the field. 27 Lady Mohawk turnovers made it tough for them to get anything going on offense and Waterford applied a full court press, put the heat on St. Wendelin's guards and all game long, the Lady Wildcats triple team, the Lady Mohawks standout center, Cameron Troike. The six foot four Troike scored only seven points and the senior Allie Rudder led the team with 11. The Lady Wildcats took 30 more shots than St. Wendelin, but it was that swarming pressure that made life almost impossible for the Lady Mohawks. Waterford ended their season with a 28-1 record and an undefeated record in the state of Ohio. Two points was easily the Lady Wildcats' closest margin of victory this season, but as long as they're the ones holding the trophy, I don't think they'll mind. Congratulations to the Waterford Lady Wildcats for claiming their first state title in school history, and thank all of you for following us at Hardwood Heroes all season long. For one last time, I'm your host, Sean Neidig, reminding you to be heroic.